Hello everybody, welcome to Break and Remake. I'm your host, Joan. This is Mend It May. It's also Me Made May. So we're gonna combine the two. I'm gonna wear something I made while we talk about mending. Visible mending is something that clearly shows on the outside of your jeans or your pants or whatever you're mending. This particular method is inspired by boro mending, a Japanese style of mending that's very rough and, and kind of organic. Also this month we'll be talking about invisible mending, mending that you can't see. I mean, you still can see it, but it's a little bit more invisible. And and hemming jeans the magic way. While I wear my fancy outfits, I will show you how to make fancy repairs on your clothes. If you don't wanna miss all this fun, subscribe to the channel. Because my pants are stretchy, I'm gonna use stretchy denim as my patch so everything can stretch together. This is the way my pants stretch. This is the way my fabric stretches. Doesn't stretch this way as much, so I wanna make sure that I'm going the right way. I'm gonna measure my hole. It looks like I should cut my piece five inches. And then when this is spread out, it looks more like that by three inches. So I'll mark that out on this jean. So here's my five inches by three inches. Okay. Now we can put this patch inside the pants. With my pants inside out, I'm going to lay this patch here. The hole is centered and then I'm gonna pin it out. Talk about mending, I dropped my pin cushion and so I put some tape on it to keep it forever. Now I'm gonna flip it right side out. I'm gonna stretch it out and pin the other side, I think. It's complicated, but I believe in you. There we go. Now I'm ready to stitch. I'm almost ready to stitch, but I have to keep in mind that my fabric does stretch this way. I don't want any of my stitches to go back and forth this way. I want them running up and down so the fabric can still stretch around the stitches. It's a little thing to think about when you're about to stitch some permanent stitches that don't stretch into something that is stretchy. Yeah, let's get started. I'm just gonna use embroidery floss. It's what I have around. It's what I'm gonna use. My hand is inside the pants so I can feel where I need to do my next stitch. I'm gonna hide my knot up over here and I'm gonna start stitching. This is terrible. The pants have a strong vertical line. I'm gonna use that to guide my stitches. I'm making sure my stitches are kind of even with my last stitches that I did. So I finished my last stitch. I'm gonna put my knot somewhere where it's not gonna actually hurt me. So I'm gonna put it in between the two fabrics. So this is my patch fabric. This is my jean fabric. I'm gonna stick my knot in here. If you need hand sewing tips, I have a video. I'll link it. I'm making my pretzel knot. I've got my knot here, and now I'm gonna trim my threads, and we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Careful now. In my ear. Messing up the shot. I'm not messing up the shot. Get your finger out of my ear.